Susanna Hebrew, Swissana modern, Sosana, Tiberian, Sosana, Lily, also called Susanna and the Elders, is included in the Book of Daniel as chapter 13 by the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches. It is one of the additions to Daniel, considered apocryphal by Protestants. It is listed in Article 6 of the 39 Articles of the Church of England among the books which are read, for example of life and instruction of manners, but not for the formation of doctrine. It is not included in the Jewish Tanakh and is not mentioned in early Jewish literature, although the text does appear to have been part of the original Septuagint 2nd century BC and was revised by Theodotion, Hellenistic Jewish redactor of the Septuagint text c. 150 AD. Topic. Summary Topic. As the story goes, a fair Hebrew wife named Susanna was falsely accused by lecherous voyeurs. As she bathes in her garden, having sent her attendants away, two lustful elders secretly observe the lovely Susanna. When she makes her way back to her house, they accost her, threatening to claim that she was meeting a young man in the garden unless she agrees to have sex with them. She refuses to be blackmailed and is arrested and about to be put to death for promiscuity when the young Daniel interrupts the proceedings, shouting that the elders should be questioned to prevent the death of an innocent. After being separated, the two men are cross-examined about details of what they saw but disagree about the tree under which Susanna supposedly met her lover. In the Greek text, the names of the trees cited by the elders form puns with the sentence given by Daniel. The first says they were under a mastic tree, hypo shinon hypo shinon, and Daniel says that an angel stands ready to cut, shise shise, him in two. The second says they were under an evergreen oak tree, hypo prinon hypo prinon, and Daniel says that an angel stands ready to saw, prasai prasai, him in two. The great difference in size between a mastic and an oak makes the elders lie plain to all the observers. The false accusers are put to death, and virtue triumphs. Topic. Date and textual history Topic. The Greek puns in the texts have been cited by some as proof that the text never existed in Hebrew or Aramaic, but other researchers have suggested pairs of words for trees and cutting that sound similar enough to suppose that they could have been used in an original. The Anchor Bible uses you and hue and clove and cleave to get this effect in English. The Greek text survives in two versions. The received version is due to Theodotion, this has superseded the original Septuagint version, which now survives only in Syriac translation, in Papyrus 967 3rd century, and exceptionally in a single medieval manuscript, known as Codex Chesianus 88. Sextus Julius Africanus did not regard the story as canonical. Jerome 347 to 420 while translating the Vulgate treated this section as a non-canonical fable. In his introduction he indicated that Susanna was an apocryphal edition because it was not present in the Hebrew text of Daniel. Origen received the story as part of the divine books and censured wicked presbyters who did not recognize its authenticity Home Lev 1.3, and remarks that the story was commonly read in the early church letter to Africanus but also noted the story's absence in the Hebrew text, observing in Epistola ad Africanum that it was hidden by the Jews in some fashion. Origen's claim is reminiscent of Justin Martyr's charge that Jewish scribes removed certain verses from their scriptures dialogue with Trifo, c.71-3. There are no known early Jewish references to the Susanna story. Topic. Depictions in art Topic. The story was frequently painted from about 1470. Susanna is the subject of paintings by many artists, including but not limited to Lorenzo Lotto, Susanna and the Elders, 1517, Guido Reni, Rubens, Van Dyck, Tintoretto, Rembrandt, Tipolo, and Artemisia Gentileschi. Some treatments, especially in the Baroque period, emphasize the drama, others concentrate on the nude. A 19th century version by Francesco Hayes National Gallery, London, has no elders visible at all. The story is portrayed on the Lothair crystal, an engraved rock crystal made in the Lotharingia region of northwest Europe in the mid 9th century. Now in the British Museum, in 1749, George Frederick Handel wrote an English language oratorio Susanna. 
Susanna and not Peter Quince is the subject of the 1915 poem Peter Quince at the Clavier by Wallace Stevens, which has been set to music by the American composer Dominic Argento and by the Canadian Gerald Berg. American artist Thomas Hart Benton (1889–1975) painted a modern Susanna in 1938, now at the De Young Museum in San Francisco. He consciously included pubic hair, unlike the statue-like images of classical art. The fable was set during the Great Depression, and Benton included himself as one of the voyeurs. The Belgian writer Marnix Gijsson borrows elements of the story in his first novel Het Boek van Joachim van Babylon, 1947. Pablo Picasso, too, rendered the subject in the mid-20th century, depicting Susanna much as he depicts his other less abstract reclining nudes. The elders are depicted as paintings hanging on the wall behind her. The picture, painted in 1955, is part of the permanent collection at the Museo Picasso Malaga. The American opera Susanna by Carlisle Floyd, which takes place in the American South of the 20th century, is also inspired by this story, but with a less than happy ending and with the elders replaced by a hypocritical traveling preacher who rapes Susanna. Shakespeare refers to this biblical episode in the trial scene of The Merchant of Venice, where first Shylock and then Gratiano praise Portia as being a second Daniel, because of her sound judgments. The story is also repeated in the One Thousand and One Nights under the name The Devout Woman and the Two Wicked Elders. Selected works References External links Topic. An Illustrated Story of Susanna and the Elders Jewish Encyclopedia, Susanna World Wide Study Bible, Susanna Daniel 13 in the New American Bible Biblical Audio Susanna Daniel Chapter 13, 2013 Critical Translation with Audio Drama